Uh, hello. It's me as always. With another unboxing video for you. So let's unbox this thing. Now let's do it. Yeah. Unbox it. Uh, unbox this. Uh, I already know where the package is from. It's from Iffy Store. Where I probably get iffystore.com where I get most of my limited editions. I put a link to the description. And I'm always hopeful that they send me the right package, but I don't know what's in the box until I open it up. And most likely, it's probably what it's probably what I ordered and spent so much money on. Ooh, look! Ooh, look! Plastic! Ooh, look! Real plastic, eh? Yeah. Real plastic. I wonder what could be inside. Yoink! Wrap wrap up just like a Christmas present. We don't need the box on the table. We just want to put stuff in, so we can go off the side. Go off the side. Gee, it has something to do with they are alive. Uh, what try and box first? I'm gonna box whatever this is in my hand. I'm gonna box whatever this is. I'm gonna open up whatever this is in my hand. <laughs> that should be that should be the video thumbnail right there. I'm so tempted to make that the video thumbnail. But I don't have time to take pictures of it. I just gotta just open it up right now. It's something wrapped up. Wrapped up. This is really big, so I might step back so I can get an idea what it is. A little plastic insert. So it appears to be a. It appears to be a casing for a body pillow. You have her on this side, you have her on this side, and you have, I think that's Toka on the other side, I think that's Toka. Yeah, I watched the Date or Life anime long before there was a, long before I knew about the visual novel. I think that's Toka. And again, no, yeah, it looks like Toka, it looks like Toka, it looks like one of the characters. I definitely recognize her, it probably says, it probably says her name. And it has a cool date or life logo. It doesn't even tell you who that character is. Well, this is. But well, that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. Well, that was nice. It looks like something I could wrap on my bed. I don't think I was seriously ever sleep with something. Let's go with. Let's go with this. Whatever I picked up. It's little Christmas angel girl. Hmm. Publisher by publisher by Carl White. Uh, Carl White is it. The people who own the rights to Dare Alive. It's a licensed visual novel. I I think I just heard about this game just by like heard about this game by reading by coming across I go all things. The first I heard about this Dare Alive game by by coming across it on Twitter. I was going to Twitter and I heard that Idol Factory is going to make a day or a live visual novel. I think I got winded on there. Or... And I'm pretty sure this visual novel game won't feature any of the Funimation English voice acting. At first, I thought it was just going to be a normal video game, but then they specifically, the trailer specifically said it was going to be a visual novel, not not a, not an art playing game, not a, a role playing game. But no. Speaking of visual novels, I like how I like how when most visual novels like Nekipa, like Nekipa, come out on the on the Switches eShop, they don't call them visual novels. They call them they call them they call them adventure platformers or interactive. But they really just should just they really should just categorize those games as visual novels. Here's the case. Hmm. You have this. I think that's a collector's 
I'm not sure. Let's just see what this is. It's a steel. It's a steel casing. Gee, I wonder what could be inside. I wonder what could be there. What could be inside. Okay, that right there is Toga. That right there is Toga. I'm 100% sure that is Toga. And the main, well, the main male character from the anime doesn't seem to be anywhere on the cover art. I forget his name. Yep, it's just an empty steel. It's just an empty steel case. Like what came with, like what came with Super Neptune RPG. It's like, I like these steel cases. They're great for carrying around games instead of like, instead of like the plastic. It's just a steel case. You used to carry around anything, a CD, a DVD, anything. Yeah, I think that was it. I think, no, I think that was, no, I think that was it. Actually, there's still one more thing in here. One more thing in here. They are alive. The soundtrack. Yeah, this, yeah, the soundtrack is just kind of hard to put out of there. Actually, I was like, that's just like, that's not it. That's, that's not it. Yeah. Oh, the official soundtrack. It probably just has OST's original. OSTs, OSTs from the game's original background music. That was RV, RVGM, RVGM background music, background music. That's included in the actual game. I've been itching. I've been itching with anticipating. Uh, well, I didn't come over that. Well, I don't. I'm not doing the unboxing video just so I can just leave everything in its original packaging and everything out. Uh, oh no, I can't get this small bit of plastic off. <laughs> I know I should just go and I should just go in for the. I should go in for the other side. I got these surgery. Yeah, yeah, edit, yeah, edit in a heart, a heartbeat sound effect. You know, one of those things, a pacemaker sound effect. Oh, it's just your heart. Ah, plastic, CD plastic, my one real weakness. Apparently, I just can't seem to cut this off the knife. Eh. I just think I'm going about it all wrong. You know, if I was really in a hurry, I'll just screw I could just do this. Yeah, bite and just use my teeth to open up. This knife isn't working. I don't have a key in my back pocket. No, I don't think so, but it's just like, this, this is working. Is that? Is that? Oh no, not again. Run! I've been playing too much Borderlands. Uh, speaking of which, I wonder if Borderlands 3 have a big limit, a uh, big, I wonder if it would be, would there be a special limited collector's edition of Borderlands 3 that comes with, you know, Borderlands 3, the game, soundtrack, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, you can kind of tell I'm excited for Borderlands 3. I, I mean, I have played Borderlands pre-sequel and in the original, I played, the first Borderlands game I played was Borderlands on the X only was on Xbox 360. That's the first version of Borderlands I actually played. There you have the cover art and all this. Yeah, this just going on about this being nostalgic about Borderlands. And you have the CD. The official soundtrack. No, there's nothing behind there. There's nothing behind. There is nothing behind in that cover art. Well, put that back in his case. Not for resale. Do, do not resell this. Yeah, look this up. Find the CD on eBay. Probably just do what I do with all my CDs. Rip it to MP3. Just rip, just rip the songs off here to MP3 format. Just copy it. Just copy the song. Just copy the new file. And I think there's one more thing in here. I think it's the official art, art book. Yep. I need to work on one more thing in here. 
Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and that's officially, that's officially fancy. Yep, it's an official art book. So why do I buy limited editions? Because, well, one, you can't afford them. Sometimes it's, it's fun to get more than a game. So, you know, sometimes it's all right. To have to be, if you have the money to buy a limited edition of a game and you know it's coming, buy it. If you can't afford it, if you can't afford a limited edition, then don't buy it because I get it. Everybody doesn't have the money to buy a limited edition, and sometimes just buying the game by itself is just better. I'm showing off the art, but like I always do. What you expect me not to show it off? Not to grace you with the present, I mean. Somebody had to draw this again and again and again. Burn the puppet. I don't know. I'm just being sadistic. We know her. She was on the pillowcasing. I forget her name. Gee, I wonder what her name could be. I forget. The only character I always recognize is... I never... I, I can't... Why well, can't every time I do every time I look at the dare like characters I don't recognize her? I recognize her from the anime. You see her in episode one. She pretends to be her she pretends to be the main character's little sister, then she gets scared to T virus. Then you find out that she's the captain of, and she's a and she's a, she's a fleet captain of the ship in episode one of Dare Alive. They're alive. The anime has three seasons at this point. I believe the characters are spirits, and when they, I believe according to the anime, the characters are spirits, and when they, when spirits crawl into their world, they cause lots of damage and devastation. They cause lots of, they cause lots of damage, but I don't think that's intentional. I think that's just a side effect with them teleporting in. I think it's mostly just by accident. I think it's more of this, not really intentional thing. Big brother, I love you. I haven't seen Toka yet. Interesting. Hmm. I'm not sure, but maybe she might appear in the anime. I think there's one key character. There's one key character who never shows up, who was never in the anime. He's only exclusive to this visual novel, her. She was never, this character was never in any of the seasons of Dead or Alive. Season 1, Season 2, Season 3. She's only unique to this visual novel. Well, that's Toka. Hey, look, black and uh, black and white post sketches. Oh, lots of sketches. You like pencil art? You like seeing what everybody had to draw over and over again? I do. That's I like. That's I like showing off some of the art in the art book. It's just stuff people have to draw and conceptualize and and draw again and again and again and draw. Hooray! Well, that's a cool drawing with lots of detail to it. You know, these drawings remind me of a light novel. I think it's just lots of, I think it's just lots of information about this. Oh, if you're trying to really read all this, I'm probably going way too fast. It's like they put a light novel in here. I swear, I'm looking at a light novel upside down because. I got it so the camera can see it, and I'm just looking downward. I'm looking down while holding the book on my stomach. Well, you guys can see it. Nope, don't seem to be much. Alright, sorry about that. My camera stopped recording while I was unboxing it. I was unboxing it. These things just kind of happen, but... So I mean, we were last looking at the we were last looking at the collected art book anyway. So, and we were last we were the shit I these things kind of happen. So yeah, so just in case I didn't show off the last page of it. The end. I suppose this is yep. I suppose this is a light novel. So most is a light novel, but that's it. They definitely seem to put a small light novel in the 
in the art book, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool to include that in, written by that Japanese guy. Anyway, anyway, trying to show off, trying to show you guys the rest of the collector's edition. Merch merchandise. Let's see. I think we are. Let's see. We are. We already showed off. So let's see here. Let's see here. The game. The game. The the game itself. Let's see here. There's the game. There's a game. It came with the game. Came. With the game. Came with a one month Funimation Now uh, subscription. A one month now free trial, so you can have one month now Funimation Now. Watch anime. Funimation Now is an anime streaming service. Because 90% of the time, all I do is watch anime on Funimation Crunchyroll app. And YouTube. I really don't watch that much TV, but let's show you this game. It's the PlayStation 4. CD that comes with the game. Just showing you guys that. Yeah, it's in good quality. If it didn't have fingerprints, it probably has. It probably has them on there now. And the game comes with a manual, a manual, a small piece of acting as a manual. It just shows off. The, roughly, just shows off the controls. And I uh, just like showing this all this and give a review. I could show it off in the case. Uh, the background art, the the insert art, the insert art. It's kind of cool. Yep, it was worked on by it was worked on by Silicon. Let's see, it was worked on Silicon Studios, Kawaii, Kawaii, Kabahar, and published by Ideal Factory. Yep, the game created the game. It's a visual novel style reading game now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna read it because reading's not reading my thing, but I probably will play it. And oh look, the game is it's rated M17 plus in the US. It has suggested theme, partial nudity. And it's a PlayStation visual novel. Visual novel. And it doesn't show off the main and the main male antagonist, but I'm pretty sure. If he is in the game, he probably won't be voiced because the main character that you see in the world is probably won't voice. So, hopefully you guys have fun watching me unbox this, getting to see the collector's edition art book, the steel case, and the CD and the CD soundtrack. And don't forget, and don't forget, and don't forget this. Don't forget this thing. The body pillow. Look at me just struggling to show her face off one more time. Uh, look at this thing. The body pillow in. Body pillow. I was virtually in my hand. Cream. I was virtually in my hand in. We all know who made this. I the did. Box it all came in. Well, I'm glad I am privileged to be able to buy this and support Ido Factory. And I will see you guys in the next Ding. unboxing video. Unboxing video I and do. Silicon Until next time, I'll be back. Later, yay. alligators. Game finally starting up. It's okay. Welcome over to really my PlayStation 4. And here we are. Watching the game install. Yeah, we're getting ready to play it. So let's start this up. Look at that cute loaded scream. 
everyone. I do factor in copper. Percent. Sting. And Silicon Studios. The greatest opening. Here we go. We are officially at the tile screen. Hooray! Oh, let's check out the gallery. Let's see what we have unlocked. Well, no, not much. What you expect? We just started. Let's go uh, to um. This game and start and start this thing up. Loading. Oh, Ray! It appears the main character is boys. Could life be any better? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to get into the menu. But Hmm. Nope, that's just the backlog menu. Press the area button on these controllers. Look, it's mysterious, girl. If I'm advancing the plot, it's probably in by accident. Oh look, she's giving me Esther. Soon, very soon, I'll be in that menu. Well, found the auto buddy. Oh look, it's a new character! Redhead Pigtails. Found the same menu. Found the menu. Let's see, we have auto. Uh, we can force activate skip mode, which I'm not gonna do. And that's all the settings that are available. And let's see. Whoop, that's about it. Let's go back to play this. Hmm, this story, these characters, yeah, I've definitely seen them before in the anime. It was his mystery girl again. Gee, she wants us to give her her name. Yay! Her name is Toka. Toka Kun. Toka Kun. Hooray! We made a friend. I have no idea who this girl is, but she gave me that look. And that was the quickest scene anyway. Anyway... Anyway, this is pretty fun. Probably not gonna read this all the way through. I was only doing to show off a little bit of the game. And I did. Until the next video, see you next time, later.